Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to install Spring Tool Suite. So this is one of the development tool or development IDE using which you can develop Spring project, Maven project, or you can create any other enterprise application, for example, microservices. So this is very helpful tool and it is very um, stable in the market so you can download the spring tool and we'll see what are the steps you need to consider for installing this tool very first requirement is you should have the jdk 1.8 version so you can go to the oracle website make sure you have the oracle user id and password and the download jdk 1.8 the next thing we, we are going to see how to download the Spring Tool Suite. So Spring Tool Suite is a free version. So you can go to the official website of Spring. It's a HTTPS spring.io and then go to the tools. Or rather you can do something like this. Go to the Google and search like Spring Tool Suite and it will take us to a, a multiple options like you have the tool spring or download sts sts stands for spring tool suites so you can click this and it will go to this page download page on this page you can see depending on your system if you are using mac system or linux or windows the download downloads are available accordingly now particularly I'm using this uh, Windows system so you can write if you go to this uh, icon which is just right side of this uh, tool so one thing I forgot to mention this spring tool suite is based on the Eclipse so the look and feel of this tool is the same as Eclipse tool which is IDE for developing Java application or any other application so look and feel is good but along with that you'll see the addition features we will shortly see that similarly we have the similar icon for mac and linux so let's click on this windows icon and you'll see the downloader is available for 32 bit as well as 62 64 bit if you go for mac and click on that icon you'll see it is available for coca 64 bit for Linux, it is available for 32 as well as 64-bit. So depending on your system, whether it's a 32-bit or 64-bit, you have to download the application or you can download this installer. So for example, if it is uh, my system is 64-bit, so just click on this zip icon and it will start downloading. So I have already downloaded the version. So you can see I have downloaded 32 bit as well as 64 bit. You can see 64 appended at the end. If it is no, then it is 32 bit. If you extract it, like if you have to just right click and extract, you can extract the same location or you can extract at the uh, other location. I would recommend create one folder, some like like this, or you can get simple. Um, folder name the reason i am saying this folder contains multiple folder inside and they had the long length so it is difficult to delete if, if you're going to delete so it will you have to go to the inside change the folder name rather than that i would recommend create simple folder and extract inside that now let me give you one example so i'm using jdk 8 update 1 six one so you can use any version above 1.8 so this is very minimum requirement if you are download if you're not sure which version you have downloaded and if you go here suppose if you extract and suppose assume that this is the folder i extracted so it will have the three basic folders legal then server for developer and the actual sts tool so you can go to this sts 3.9 Two, this is the current version I just downloaded you'll see the various folders like configuration drop-ins features meta INF p2 
plugins, readme. So if you notice these folders, these are quite similar as Eclipse. And that's true. As I said, this tool is based on Eclipse IDE. That's the reason folder structure is same. So you'll have the behind the scene Eclipse is getting used. So that is the reason Eclipse EX is available. And the actual STS tool is also available. So this icon is nothing but your tool. Now let me click on this tool. If we click on this tool, we'll get the error message saying that incompatible JVM version 1.7079 of JVM is not compatible or it's not suitable. What this means, that means the version which you have downloaded is even the error message pointing to JVM or JDK, the actual reason why it is not working because my system is 64 bit and I downloaded 30 32 bit installer and that is the reason you will get that error. So do not get confused with the error message about JDK. The actual reason could be the your operating system might be a different bit version. So it could be a 32 bit and you are using a 64 bit installer that could be reason or your system is 64 bit but you are using 32 bit installer. So this is just for your information. Similarly, I extracted this 64 bit installer and put inside this. So I just renamed, uh, I just renamed the folder STS bundle 64 bit. It has a similar folder structure as like 32 bit and I have just 392 version. If you can see the all the folder structure is quite same as the Eclipse installer and there is one final STS exe. You have to just double click and this is a free version tool so anyone can install. So so you can see this is Spring Tool Suite and the information this is the latest version licensed till 2017. It will take a few moment to initiate this tool and then it will ask for the workspace so you can create at any location there is no restriction i just created one folder if you see the training ws that is training workspace and we have just selected that training workspace you can use this as a default and click launch so that next onward you don't have to select that path it will automatically select and will open this tool. So as I said, this tool is based on the Eclipse. That's the reason while launching this tool, it is showing it is loading various Eclipse related install ins initiating components like org Eclipse setup.ui, etc. So all those are Eclipse related, but on top of that, there are some additional features you can see which are relevant for the spring. Now this is the ID. Couple of things in this ID spring suite or I would say it's a STS. So this is a very initiating page or start page which have the spring as an icon. Docs we have we have the guide we have if you have notice issue you can report we have the blogs and forum. So all basic information is highlighted as a home page. You can exit out to get the blank screen. So if you see the look and feel of this application or this tool, it's same like Eclipse as it is based on the Eclipse. We have the package explorer, we have the server at the left hand side, we have the console, we have outline and we have the spring explorer. On top we have the file. So to create a project, then you have the edit section. You have the source section, refactor, navigate, search, project. You can execute using run section. Then we have windows to set up the preferences, etc. The final section is help. There are a couple of additional icons you can see. So this is a boot dashboard. We have, if you want to see the line number, you have to just click this line number. It will show on this page once if once you have the in your initial page 
then the dashboard you have like if you click this dashboard will come and then you can execute using run this basic eclipse feature and the other features are quite similar as eclipse so this is the tool using which you can develop spring application maven application or microservices so uh, i'm sure you got the idea about this tool in upcoming session we are going to see more interesting aspect and features about this tool as well as we are going to develop couple of things like the spring application maven application as well as microservices so keep watching this space if you have any questions or queries do not forget to mention in the comment section of this video thank you again have a nice time